Einen wunderschönen guten Abend vom Chateau de Colombe hier in saint bédel in France. Uh, herzlich willkommen. Bonsoir à tous. Bienvenue à Jolie de Chateau de Colombe in saint bédel And as always, now to our human speaking friends around the world, welcome to another episode of Journey to the Chateau at the Chateau de Colombe in saint bédel This was a very exciting week. Uh, things we hadn't seen in six months. Right, right. <laughs> They're here now. Ah, uh, yes. So, uh, once we got a tentative date, we had to spring into action. explain a little about the background here. <laughs> so our containers arrived in uh, uh, the Netherlands, in Rotterdam, um, I think in July. Mm. We left end of May. Yes, so it, it, they were there in July. And there was a lovely lady uh, who kind of was overwhelmed with her job at the important <laughs> section of the company. And so, um, She she didn't do her job, did she? Apparently not. So, anyways. So <laughs> she then went on a long three-week vacation in the summer, which is she's entitled to. And then she contacted us once, and was we never heard from her again. Mm -hmm. Because she quit. And deleted her entire inbox and her email. So, I, we had to submit the entire paperwork for everything yet again. Right. Uh, but the, the, the company uh, was, was fantastic to work with. And but, so we, we did get a date out of the blue. It was like, okay, here we go. Containers are going to come. Uh, that was a bit stressful. <laughs> right. So we had, to, we had to prepare and get ready for all of our stuff coming. Right. So oh, we had to make stuff. room for it. Yes. And, and, and organize things. Right. And, and so here we go. happening <laughs> guess who's here <laughs> it's uh and they said we have two containers and why do we have two containers well because instead of one 40 foot container we have two 20 foot containers right. and they're here mm -hmm. um it's three very nice gentlemen and they are going to get the truck into the courtyard <laughs> good yeah. luck um but Uh, he asked me, he said, has ever been a truck in here? And I said, yes, because we just got the 4,000, almost 4,000 liters of oil. oil delivered. So uh, trucks can get in here. There, there will be no collapses because there are no hidden caverns no. or, yeah, and we hope. <laughs> <laughs> But so it is, uh, this could be really interesting and, uh, good Lord. Yeah. It's amazing. Anyways, have fun.
everybody. So the truck arrived yesterday and uh, they were incredibly fast unpacking, very kind, nice people. And so um, they left early this morning and we went into our coach house and sorted through things. And that took quite a few hours, as you might imagine. Um, so now we're actually starting to put things away, uh, at least for the time being, a few of them. Uh, this is the dining room. That is the buffet we bought in Chicago. And I know we had one comment It was uh, saying, why are you buying furniture there? You can get that at any account in France. It, let me just say that is not true. This is the Louis XV piece. Uh, it is absolutely exquisite and we have not seen anything like this uh, except in Parisian antique stores. So um, we have that I polished the piece, it's uh, polished with uh, uh, furniture wax. The room smells, to me that smells like home. Um, and we washed the glasses and uh, now I'm gonna start putting them away with Stuart. As you have seen, we now actually have a dining room. Not that it's done. Right. And, it, <laughs> and that, that buffet was here for less than 24 hours before it was filled up like that. Right? Oh, good grief. Uh, <laughs> and it's, we actually have, have a few more things that should go in the buffet. Right. right. There's no space in it. Right. It's, it, the, the, this ginormous buffet is too small. And it's every morning uh, when I come and so I, I go into the kitchen and I, the buffet is on my left, you know, so I, I don't see it. But every day I come back, it's shocking. <laughs> it is. We've been here, we've been here for months without there being anything in the dining room except right. the table. It, and then suddenly yes. there's like this big thing there in the dining room. And it, it's so stunning. I mean, it's gorgeous and um, full of uh, wine glasses and champagne glasses, martini glasses. My grandmother's uh, bohemian glasses, which they're so pretty, and of course one of them broke. We had, of well, we had some breakage. Um, furniture and glass, um, but only a few <laughs> pieces were catastrophic, so they were garbage. Some we can fix, um, but it, it, it's just it's so amazing, and uh, most of our our. Uh, English friends here has have never had an American Thanksgiving, and it, I mean, let's face it, an American Thanksgiving well, is quite what to do. Why would they have a Thanksgiving? Well, no, it's, <laughs> it's, it's true, but right. I mean, Ameri an American Thanksgiving it's quite a to do. Uh, it's uh, so we we are having things planned that we need to get organized, mm -hmm. and we're going to film it, all of it, <laughs> right? <laughs> So I hope you can, you find it as funny as we do. I hope we will find it funny. Will we? I hope so. Anyways, so there will be uh, uh, our, f our first Thanksgiving right. with our new friends here in France. And I can't wait. It's going to be, uh, we're, we're really excited. Yep. And we have the dining room to set it up and the kitchen to cook it in. Thank you. 
So last Saturday, we um, were going out to buy our lawn tractor. Mm -hmm. uh, what we didn't realize is that the gentleman who <laughs> does that did not work on Saturday. Nope. So we thought, oh, why not just go 12 minutes further north to Minitou Salon, a, a beautiful chateau there, because there was an antique fair. Mm -hmm. And we got something there. We got a few things there. Sunday, mm. Tony and Jane said there is a monthly first Sunday of the month antique fair in Chateauroux. And um, we had no idea. So <laughs> it was so much fun. But um, it's not happening in July and August because that's when the French are on vacation. Mm. So it was the first uh, one that we went to and it was lovely and and it was a lot of fun to go with Tony and Jay because yeah, it, it's so interesting that it, you know sometimes we, we were looking at something and Jane would say what you're looking at that um the table yes they know us already way too well <laughs> it's <Yeah>. lovely <laughs> but it was great I mean a lot of uh, uh vendors mm -hmm. um, with some really good really good merchandise yeah. yes and I mean like this table has it's like a burl wood um, veneer on top and mahogany. Mm -hmm. It is so pretty, and I can't, I, I'm not even going to say what we paid for it because it was ridiculously cheap. <laughs> um, but have a look. It was. It was really. It was a lot of fun. Yes.
Welcome to the workshop of the Colombe de Stewart. Hello. Uh, we just bought this, this adorable little side table, um, which we're going to use as a bedside table. And that needs a little bit of work, but just only a little. And it's really nice to look inside there. It's amazing how primitive of these constructions are and how well they work. Uh, so I have a couple of very tiny nails that I need to hammer back in. But we have the just amazing little mini hammers for that. Okay. How nice is that? Okay. That was a huge job. <laughs> So I was determining, trying to, and guess what? Ah. There's no determination either the because same. both of them are the same. Hello, Guinness. Yes, oh, that's my Guinness buddy. Yes. Okay, let me move this over just a smidge. There's a whole other project we're working on, and that's, it's really exciting. But what I'm doing now is refreshing the wood and I'm a walk I'm walking away from the microphone I know so what I'm doing here is refreshing the the wood uh, and that is for the purpose of it it's getting its uh, deep color back because um, sometimes when when furniture stands in in the bright light uh, it just loses a bit of uh, depth and so that's what I'm, I'm, well, I'm attempting. Ah, how about that? That's what I'm trying to get back. And I'm doing that with every little piece. Ah, yeah, I just realized that it much, would be a much smarter thing for me to show this to you right in front of the camera, not across the room. I have my moments. I know, it's hard to believe, but it's true. So, this all looks pretty nice. Uh, there's a beautiful band inlay. Um, but now look at this when I do go over this. I am not sure you can actually see how much of a difference that makes. But it it refreshes the paint or the the the, paint, the wood <laughs> uh, in a way that is really quite remarkable. Because it uh, so and then I let it sit because it penetrates the wood, and it has some pigments in it, and at a in a couple of hours or so I can go back and wax the living daylight out of it. <laughs> So it becomes uh, nourished, and that is something I usually do about once a year with the, the waxing. Uh, actually, I do twice a year, once before winter and once we get through winter and uh, the heating season, when most pieces of furniture have lost some of their moisture. I'm... Uh, then go back and wax them, wait a couple of hours, and then I go back and polish them. Although you have to always look at your uh, product that you're using, because they're all different. So some you have to uh, work over after about 15 minutes, others, you, you know, you have to let sit for about an hour or so, so that it actually can penetrate. So it just really depends on what you're using. Oh my. This is, uh, and Jane commented on this, because we were at this market, this uh, antique market, uh, because of Tony and Jane, um, and we saw this and we just couldn't resist. It's really cute with a little 
border. Um, and Jay looked at this and said, that top is so pretty. And this is such gorgeous walnuts. It's burwood, maquetry. Gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Um, and this will be a most probably a side table or uh, uh, no, I'm sorry, most probably a nightstand in one of the guest rooms. And I always love re refreshing this. Uh, let me do a close up real quick here. So this is, uh, hold on, like this. You can see there's like this very light color. And you go with this with the pigments. And then it looks like this. Hold on. Other way around. See, it has, it just gets this. Good Lord, you might all get seasick from me here, but um, it just intensifies the color again. But what it can't put a color in that wasn't there. But what it does is it refreshes the color that has that the wood originally had, and that was was makes this so uh, wonderful as a tool to have in just refreshing antique furniture. a nice improvement if you like this episode please share it with your friends and family and uh, if you haven't already please subscribe next week's episode is a lot about uh, going to the sanctuary because right we mentioned previously that we were going to be going back to the uh, the animal rescue sanctuary and we're going to be going back there for next week's episode and for because uh, we purchased a few things. <laughs> right. So we may find some things there that we're going to... Well, we already purchased some. Right. We're, I was going to say, we may find some th new things there, but we're going there knowing that there's already things that we already purchased. So. And, and we're, we're going with Tony and Jane, so yeah. that's going to be even more fun. fun. So it's the it's double trouble. That's all <laughs> I said. <laughs> In any case, thank you for watching. Bonsoir à tous. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.